you guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is an X13 blower motor that's actually mounted into a 90% efficient furnace that is in a downward position, okay? So that's why the electrical uh, is actually on the top right now for that X13 blower motor. That's an ECM blower motor, it has constant torque uh, on it, and the it's, it's not quite like a variable speed blower motor with the constant airflow. Um, but it's kind of like a step between PSC blower motor and complete variable speed. All right. Uh, it's important to know that there's power going to the blower motor at all times, the 120 volts in this case because it's a furnace. All right. So whether this blower motor is on or off, there is 120 volts. This wire right here, the, the black uh, on this control board is actually BL-1. And then you have your your common that's going to the L2 uh, common neutral bar. All right. You also have your ground uh, to the side of the blower motor right there. All right. So that's live at all times. It's your 24 volt signals, which are located right here, that will tell it what to do. High speed, low speed, whatever that may be. The manufacturer is going to actually program what those taps mean in the blower motor itself. Okay. So, so this right here is your common for for all of your uh, 24 volt wires, all right? So you have five speeds potentially right here, blue, gray, red, orange, and yellow on this particular one, all right? And for this manufacturer, they actually program that yellow and orange on the top are just spares and that they're not used. And in this case, the red is the low heat, gray is the cool, and the blue is the high heat okay so that's for this particular unit the reason that they did a low heat and a high heat is this is a two-speed uh, gas valve inside this furnace right here all right so each manufacturer is going to be different um, but basically what you want to do is you just want to um, say turn the power off okay and you're going to pull the connections out and we can read them with a the multimeter or unless you can get to them with the multimeter already just as long as it as your hands are safe, um, but uh, you know you want to be real careful with this. When anytime you're moving the connections around and everything, you want to make sure you turn the power off of this. Uh, but basically, what you're going to do is we're going to pull those connections out, and we're going to we're going to check them for volts, and we're going to jump out uh, from red to green. All right. So we're just going to turn the which should be the low speed heat on. All right. So here we go. So let's go ahead and. Uh, and pull these out. Once again, the power is off right now, so we are safe. This is one of those small cabinets. It's only 14 and a half inches, so it's real tight to get my hands in there. All right. So you have your high voltage side right here and your, your common for your low voltage. So, so that's your hot, your common, and your ground. And then uh, this is your common for your 24 volt side. These are your, your five speeds right here okay depending on whatever the manufacturer has programmed so what we're going to do is we're going to set our probes for voltage all right so presently i have the red and green jumper all right that's at the control board um, terminals right there all right so we're taking the thermostat wire and the thermostat out of play so what we have here is we have one probe into the common for the 24 volts okay we know that the white and black are, are hot. We already tested them, all right? And now we're just gonna see which one of these wires that the control board is sending power to the blower motor with, all right? So the low speed, which is what it normally sends in a PSC blower motor, it's not sending it with that. Check the orange, it's not that. Blue, not that. Yellow, not that. All right, the gray seems to be where it's sending the power to, okay? The gray on this particular uh, control board is actually the cooling, okay? So when you turn the fan on on this particular one, it's actually sending cooling power out, all right, which is normally its highest fan speed. As you know, PSC blower motors are normally the lower fan speed or the medium fan speed. It's usually actually power in the heat. Uh, speed for the blower motor, um, but every manufacturer is going to be different when they program, you know, which one they're going to be sending the voltage to the X13 blower motor with. In this case, we do read 27 volts, okay?
All right, we know that we have 120 volts here between the white and the black, all right, and that would be uh, connected in your blower motor, all right? If we just check, just for instance, from ground to black, once again, 120 volts, okay? Sometimes these wires are not pushed in all the way, okay? Sometimes these wires are not pushed in. So when you get to the job site, you turn the power off, and you just go in and, and you just press each one of these wires in. Make sure they're making a good connection. Check over here. Make sure that uh, these are not getting uh, loose. You know, they're, they're just spade terminals. All right, where we were putting the probe in was in the middle section. It was not opening up the spade terminal, okay? The plastic was actually holding the probe in place. All right, but don't push in too far. You don't want to break the plastic, all right? So we're going to go ahead and plug them back in. But if, if the blower motor does not work after we just saw that we have voltage going uh, to the gray and coming back out through the, the green, okay, and you know you have 120 volts from the black to the white wire, then that blower motor is bad. All right, so here we go. All right, so presently I have my uh, probes on the green, which is common, and the gray, which is going to be the 24 volt hot, going to the blower motor. We have our alligator clips connected to the green and connected to the red. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and read voltage. And we have 27 volts going to the blower motor, and we should hear the blower motor start here in a second. All right, so that, that blower motor is good. All right. So that could have been a loose wire or something like that. All right, so that X13 motor is good. All right, we checked for the 24 volt signal. We know it has a 120 volt signal. We just heard it click on the control board because we have our our red and uh, green wires jumped, our R and G terminals. All right, so that ECM motor is good. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.